Hi, my name is Chris Dickerson, and this is going to be a quick Q&A of a few questions that we've been asked online. Question number one comes from Glenn. How do you fit 50 discs in a bag designed for 35? Well, I actually have a process for whenever I get a new bag. I will stuff my bag full of as many discs as I can fit in it in each and every pocket and let it sit overnight for a day or two. And after I take those discs out, I can fit as many as I normally would in the bag without having it to be very tight whenever I stick a hand in there to grab a disc. I don't have to squeeze my hand in there. I can just reach in normally. It's like I've been using the bag for a couple months. I actually have a little bit of a process to it, but I can't hold quite 50 in there yet. This next question is from Frisbee Friesian. Do you have a strategy for the whole course determined at the start, or do you often make any last minute changes on tee shots? Whenever I go into a tournament after the practice rounds that I've played, I more than likely have a set plan. I have had occasions where I'll get to a certain hole or a certain shot and the conditions will be different than they were the day before or the whole week before. It's not often, but I have changed shots in the middle of a round based on wind or anything else. I've changed a few shots depending on the way the wind was blowing, whether I go into it thinking I'm going to throw a sidearm and think, well, I don't think this wind is very good for it, so I'm gonna throw a backhand turnover instead, or a roller. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Every now and then, there's just a little voice in the back of your head that says, hey, you should do this. Next question comes in from Z Melton 38631 Rank your five favorite places to eat chicken. We'll start with number five, being not the best, but still obviously good since it's on the list. Number five would be Zaxby's just because it's a, it's a place you can get pretty good chicken week round. Coming in at number four is Chick-fil-A. It would be higher up on the list, but you can only get it six out of the seven days. Number three, Texas Roadhouse. Pretty, pretty solid chicken. Number two would be a place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's called the Blue Moose. It's kind of a little sports bar and grill. Really, really good chicken, but not, not the very best. Coming in at number one would be Wings Over. It's a wings place. Hands down, the best chicken I've ever eaten. The best chicken I've had. This next question comes from John. What made you make the switch from a PA4 to PA3? When I started putting with Prodigy Discs, they had the PA1 and PA4. I picked up the PA4 because I like straighter putters, but whenever the PA3 came out, for me being a spin putter, it's still a really straight putter that has just a little bit of finish on the end. Having that consistent fade on the end, I didn't have to guess what distance was it going to keep going straight or if it was gonna fade out just a little bit at the end. I found out pretty quick what distance I was going to be able to putt it and have it go straight and at what distance I was going to be able to putt it and it would start to fade at the end. Next question comes from Adrian English. What do you think when you putt or do you simply execute? Also, do you despise the name Robot Chicken? Whenever I step up to a putt, I don't just look at the basket and think, well, that's where I need to hit. I think about what's going on around the basket, what the wind is doing, what the, the layout of the green is, whether it's a sloped green, you know, uh, there's a drop off behind it. I'll run at that putt just a little bit softer than I normally would, just a flat putt with no wind, a tailwind. It's so going to drop it, a headwind. If you putt nose up, it's going to keep it up. And being a right handed putter, a right to left wind can get under the disc and keep it up a little bit, whereas the left to right will get on the flat plate and kind of knock it down just a little. Do I despise the nickname Robot Chicken? Not really. I actually kind of like it. This last question comes from Austin Lytle. When you practice, do you still do your full pre-shot routine? Yes, on most shots. 
be in a practice round, if I have like a 15 footer or so, I won't go through my whole putting routine. I'll just pick it up and toss it because in a practice round, if you miss, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, outside of that 25, 30 feet, I'll go through my routine, maybe not the entire thing, but I'll go through a routine I feel comfortable with. That way, whenever I get in a round, I don't feel any different than a practice round. As far as tee shots and other shots like that, <clears throat> I go through the same routine I normally would. I, I don't change anything at all.